Hey, hey, it's your boy. This your boy, A-Hood. Pastor of Full Impact Ministries. What's going on, y'all? Check it out. I want to speak to you for a few minutes. And I want to talk about having every T crossed and every I dotted. You know, uh, for the most part, you know, there is so much stagnation in the body of Christ as far as moving in, in our purposes because a lot of it has to do with people just really don't really just don't really truly trust God you know you know and we and we say things like um, well I want to just make sure that I got this here ready and I want to just make sure that I got this here going on and stuff like this here and they are really trying to have every T cross and every I dotted, you know. And it really shows a form of unbelief. And it shows a form of fear. And you really don't trust God. See, but but see, when you really trust God, so you're just going to go ahead and jump on out there. And go ahead and jump on out there. I mean, I mean... And you won't know everything that's going on when you jump out there. But if you just jump, I mean, just take a chance. You don't want to continue to be one of these people that will look up and say, well, I want to do this here with my life. I want to do that with my life. And then you look up and you've been saved 20, 30 years and you haven't done anything. You haven't done anything. See, a lot of us got all, all I mean, all kind of stuff in us. You know, we are entrepreneurs, writers, and some of us got movies in us. I mean, I mean, all, all, all kind of things. But we scared to step out. And this is why we be on jobs for, for uh, 30, 40 years. You know, because we're scared to step out and pursue the purpose that God has for us. And as a result, we end up being stagnated Christians and uh, steady saying how awesome God is and how good God is, but never taking a chance to really experience His goodness. His awesomeness and His faithfulness. And and there needs to come a point to where we say, you know what, Lord? I trust you. And, I, and I'm going to just go ahead and jump on out there. I, I have already made up my mind and my heart. And I told Jesus, I said, Lord... I not only receive you as my Savior, but I receive you as my Lord. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump off the top floor without a parachute. I'm going to go ahead and dive into the deep. And it's, and it's you or nothing, Lord. I don't have a plan B. I don't have a plan C. It's you or nothing. Either I'm going to sink or swim in you. I'm going to live or die in you. But whatever happened, it's going to be in you, Lord, because I trust you. I trust you. I don't care how it looks. I trust you. And when you speak like that, yes, you are going to be tried by fire. Guaranteed. Guaranteed you're going to be tried by fire. But check, check this word out. Check what the writer says over in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 and he's speaking about Jesus and, he, and, and verse 15 this is what he said for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin Jesus have mercy I mean here, here it is God in the flesh God in the flesh. 
I mean, humbled himself and came down from glory. Jesus, have mercy. He came down from glory to experience what we experience on a daily basis. Also, he can be up there sitting on the right hand interceding for us because he know what we go through. And when we have God in the flesh who had actually came down from, from his throne, from his glory, hmm, to interact with us, to feel what we feel, we should be more bold to actually just step out there. See, we speak on the thing about Jesus, I mean, Peter had stepped out of the boat and stuff like this here. But, but do you know, it was other disciples in the boat with him. See, we make fun of Peter and say that he sank and that he looked at his issues and all this here. But the bottom line is, Peter did something that no other man on on this planet did and no other man in the Bible did except for Jesus and that was walk on water. See, when you really want to step out, you're going to have to let everybody that want to stay stuck, you're going to have to let them stay stuck. And you you going to have to step out and take that chance. And when you do take that chance, even when you fall short, Jesus, how mercy, Jesus, man, it, it, it almost puts God in a point to where He's obligated to help you back up, cause you done stepped out there. Peter said, "Lord, if it be you, bid me to come." What, what was Jesus supposed to tell him? No, Peter, just stay over there because you don't have this type of power. Peter said, come. There was enough power in that one word Peter told, Jesus told Peter for Peter to walk on water. You're going to have to step out. You're going to have to disconnect yourself from all the folks who want to stay in, who want to stay sheltered. It was a wise man that said, hell, hell is a comfort zone. Wow. He said, hell is a comfort zone. <laughs> Minister Linnell said, hell is a comfort zone. And that is so true. People will actually stay in their mess to be comfortable versus stepping out. Versus just stepping out and giving it a try. Listen to this other scripture here. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Lord have mercy. We are able to come to the throne of grace because, because Jesus himself was tempted in every area like we are. The Bible said that he was tempted like as we are, yet without sin. And he was tempted in every area like we are, like we were, like we still are. And he understands and he can relate. This is why we are able, watch this, here, let us therefore come boldly. You can go boldly boldly. You don't have to be timid. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be shy. You don't have to be some timing. You don't have to have everything right. Watch this here. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Mm. Let us come boldly to the throne of grace. Jesus, have mercy. 
we have no excuse for not stepping out. God is actually rooting us on. God is our number one fan, our biggest fan. And he's saying, come on, son, go for it. Come on, daughter, go for it. You can do it. I believe in you. God has more faith in us than we do ourselves. And God is saying, you can do it. Go for it. Go for it. Watch this. That we may obtain mercy. That we may obtain mercy. We can boldly go to the throne of grace. Lord, have mercy. Unmerited favor. We can go boldly to the throne of grace. Unmerited favor so that we can obtain mercy. Watch this here. And find grace. Shut your mouth, Jesus. Lord, have mercy. I'm excited for myself. And find grace. Watch this here. To help in time of need. Not when everything is going well. To find unmerited favor in the time of need. Shut your mouth. To find unmerited favor to help in the time of need. When, when you're going through. You better stop running from church. You better start running to church. <laughs> when you're going through, you better run to that Bible. When you're going through, you better run to Jesus. Jesus. You remember when Peter was walking on the water and he began to sink? Peter said, Jesus. Jesus rest out his hand for him. I'm telling you, you do not have to wait till you cross every T and dotted every I to push in your purpose. You have the right since Jesus, since Jesus understand our infirmities and he was tempted in all areas. You have the right as a born again believer. You must be born again. You have the right as a born again believer. Jesus to go boldly. Shut your mouth. To the throne of grace. Jesus to obtain mercy. And find grace. To help. In the time of need, you have that right. That is your inheritance. Now, why won't you just go ahead and jump for it? Go for it. Go for your goals. Go for your dreams. Go for your passions. Go for your desires. Go for it. God is rooting you on. God is your, your favorite fan. God is your number one fan. God is rooting you on and saying, go do it. Go get them. Go get them, son. Go get them, daughter. I know you can do it. I'm rooting you on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come up out of that fear. Come up out of that unbelief. And believe God. This your boy, E. Hood. Pastor Full Impact Ministries. Just want to encourage you. You don't have to cross every T and dot every I. And I'm out. Peace.